In this video, we'll find the derivative of the inverse hyperbolic tangent of x, and I will call this function tan h inverse for short. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the video. Okay, so we're going to define the function y equals tan h inverse of x, and the goal is to find dy over dx, or dy dx. So we can take tan h on both sides on this function, leaving us with tan h of the input y equals tan h of tan h inverse, which is x. Okay, so we could do d over dx on both sides, but we're gonna have to do a product rule or a chain rule once we get the derivative of tan h y, and then it, it gets kind of messy. So let's do the derivative with respect to y on both sides. Now this will give us dx dy on the right, right hand side, but to get dy dx, all we have to do is just take the reciprocal. So that's fine. Okay, so we're going to find the derivative, or let's say dy, d over dy of tangent h of y. Okay, so this, so like, like the trig functions, tangent h of y is sine h of y, all over cosine h of y, which is the hyperbolic sine function, the hyperbolic cosine function. Okay, so sine h of y is defined as e to the y minus e to the minus y all over 2, and cosine h of y is defined as e to the y plus e to the minus y all over 2. So let's do the derivative with respect to y on both sides. Okay, on cosine h of y. So the derivative e to the y is e to the y. The derivative e to the minus y is e to the minus y. But don't forget the derivative of the inside with respect to y, which is negative 1 all over 2. Well, what is this? We just define that to be sine h of y. Okay. Similar thing. We are going to get e to the y minus negative 1 times e to the minus y all over 2. But well, that's plus. So that turns into cosine h of y. So the derivative of sine h of y is cosine h of y, and the derivative of cosine h of y is sine h of y. That is different than the trig functions because the derivative of cosine x usually is, yeah, is negative sine x. Okay, so we're going to use the quotient rule. So the bottom function is co cosine h of y times the derivative of the top function. The derivative we found to be another cosine h of y, but we can square it. So we have cosine h of y times cosine h of y, which is cosine h squared y. So we have minus sine h y times the derivative of cosine h of y, which is another sine h y. So we can square that all over cosine h squared of y. Now we could separate these fractions, but let's look at this. So cosine h squared y minus sine h squared y. There's an identity that you might know already, but let's just show it. So this is equal to e to the y plus e to the minus y all over 2 and squared. But we can just square the top, and then we know what 2 squared equals. That's 4. And sine squared, this is supposed to be h, okay, is the same 4, so we can just keep the denominator the same. So this would be minus e to the y, minus e to the minus y, and then squared. Okay. So this would be equal to e to the 2y plus 2 times e to the y times e to the minus y is just 2, plus e to the minus 2y. Then we're going to minus, similarly, e to the 2y minus 2, because there's a minus sign, plus e to the minus 2y, all over 4. e to the 2y will cancel, e to the minus 2y will cancel, 2 minus negative 2 is 4 over 4 is 1. So this equal to 1. So this is 1 over cosine h squared of y, which is equal to secant h squared of y. So that is the derivative with respect to y of tangent h of y. Okay. So this would be secant, secant h squared of y equals dx dy over dy. And now to get dy dx, you take 1 over secant h squared of y. Okay. But 1 over secant h squared of y, 1 over secant is cos, cos, a, cos h. So this would be cosine h squared of y. What is y? y is tangent, hyperbolic tangent, 
inverse of x. And that is the end of the video. Hope you liked it.